Hello guys, welcome back to Tech Audit. I'm Sam. Uh, today I have a Signature Pro, uh, a product from Fuljo, a company in Singapore. So this is the 7-in-1 adapter and M.2 NMV SSD enclosure. Um, the model number is uh, CH62-SG. Uh, it has also a two-year warranty. Now, if you take a look on the side of the box, we'll see some details of the ports. So we have M.2 NMV SSD enclosure with up to 10 gigabytes per second transfer speed. And then we have a PAL delivery with a maximum of 100 watts. And then we have an HDMI 2.0B. This support 4K 60 frames per second, which is really nice. And then we have a USB-A uh, 3.1 Gen 2 up to 10 gigabytes per second transfer speed. And then we have also USB-A 2.0 up to 480 megabytes per second. And then the last one, we have an SD or TF card reader with up to 5 GB transfer speeds per second. So that's it. So those are all of the information. So uh, Fuji also sent me this uh, free USB-C to USB 2.0. Uh, speed charging cable which is nice of them to send it to me so but we're not going to review the cable now we just want to uh, review the main signature pro so i'll proceed with that now we're going to do a, a real quick unboxing so we're going to remove the uh, enclosure so this is an enclosure it's a silver color lightweight and then we'll put it aside and then we'll check what else is in the box um so we can see in the box we have also another case i think this is a protective case for the enclosure which is really nice as you can see the material let's look what's inside the case so what's inside the case the first thing we have is the usb-c to usb-c cable and then we have uh, a, a three screws and a screwdriver which is used to secure the SSD within the enclosure and then we also have a warranty card this is for two years uh, but if you register to their website you get uh, three months free we also have some instruction manual which shows uh, some of the information of the product and also it also shows uh, how to install the SSD within the enclosure uh, how to do it properly and some sort of those instructions uh, provided within this manual um, we also have a black tape uh, stick. I think this one you stick it to your SSD uh, to prevent uh, overheating or high temperatures on your SSD. That's what I guess. So I'll proceed on showing the uh, enclosure and the pots. So now let's take a look of the enclosure. As you can see, nice color. The weight is good, feels nice on the hand and it's not too heavy so if you take a look at the back we have six screws and uh, the place where you insert your ssd you just have to open it and then you have to insert it now, okay let's take a look at the ports as you can see here we have two usb a 3.1 and then we have a sd slot and then we have a tf slot and then if you turn around on the other side we have a usb 2.0 one port and one USB-C display port. This is the one you connect to on your computer. And then on the other side, we have an HDMI 460 uh, hertz. And then we have also a USB-C um, 100 watts power delivery port on the side. So that's all. Uh, if we do a quick comparison of its size, it's similar to my Pixel 3, Google Pixel 3, uh, in terms of size um it's not very bulky it's not very heavy this dimension is similar a bit smaller as you can see if you take a look at this uh, height you can see uh they are a bit similar in size so it's a good uh, size um it's not very big it won't take a lot of space in your bag you can also put it in your pocket as a phone it's pretty nice so now i'm going to show you how to uh, install the SSD within this enclosure and then we're gonna do some um, speed tests using MacBook different MacBooks and then also we'll do with Windows yeah for this uh, demonstration I'm going to use uh, Samsung uh, 97 Evo Plus SSD 
Um, so I'll show you how you install it. It's not very hard. You have first to remove the uh, bottom case, as you can see here. We have, you can install different size of SSD. Uh, you have uh, 2230, we have uh, 2242, and then we have 2260, and then we have 2280. The one I have here with me is 2280. Samsung Evo 97 Evo Plus. So I'm gonna show you how you can install it. Now take uh, the, the SSD you have, and then insert it carefully. Push it gently and you'll hear a simple uh, click when it's in place, uh, as you can see. After it's in place, you have to secure it using the provided screws and also the screwdriver that was provided within the carrying case. So just take one screw and then uh, use it to secure the SSD so that it won't fall off, as you can see here. When it's done, just uh, close back the case and it's done. Then we'll start the speed test. Okay, that's done. So for the first test, um, I'm going to use a MacBook 12 inch 2017 model. So this MacBook, um, was one of the thinnest MacBook ever made. And also it's the MacBook which had only one USB-C port, only one. So this one was the perfect MacBook to be paired with this uh, external enclosure. If it came back uh, uh, back in 2015 is when this MacBook was uh, first uh, introduced, but this one is the 2017 model. As you can see, it only has uh, head jack port and one USB-C port. So let's start the speed test. So first you have to uh, plug in the enclosure to your MacBook or Windows laptop if you have. Uh, and then if you look at the right corner, you see, okay, now we can read the internal SSD that I installed. Uh, before doing this, uh, first you have to format your SSD with the right format. If you only wanna use it on Windows, format with the right uh, format. If you wanna use it on Mac, format with the right format supported with Mac. If you wanna use it on Mac and Windows, then you have to use the right format. I'm using the um, EXFAT to be able to use it on Mac and Windows. And I'll be using the uh, Magic Speed Test uh, application on Mac to test the speed. So the first thing you have to do, I'll first test the internal storage for my Mac, uh, the speed of the read and write. As you can see, it's about uh, 1,159, that's for the write, and then we have 1,331, that's for the read. This is for the my internal uh, storage SSD speed, okay? This is very important. Uh, you have to do this first, okay? Because it depends on how fast your uh, MacBook is, and also, it also depends on the cable you use, and also it also depends on the SSD you, ins you install within the enclosure in order to get good speeds. So after getting the uh, read and write speed of my Mac, then I'll now, uh, what I'll do is, okay, test the speed of the in uh, SSD installed in my enclosure. So I'll go here, then you have to select target drive, then I'll have to select my 90 EVO plus, okay, then open. And then now I'll do the uh, speed test of my installed S uh, SSD. As you can see, it's only 400 MB, that's for the write. And then for the read, it's also 415 uh, uh, MB. I know some will be, uh, shocked uh, why is it so low i that one depends on the uh uh the pc you use and your internal storage speed even if the uh something evo 90 evo plus uh, uh support um 3500 read and write speed uh megabytes uh you won't be able to get this speed within this enclosure this enclosure only support up to 1000 uh, megabytes per second 
So it doesn't matter how fast your installed SSD is, it will never go above uh, 1000 megabytes per second. But for my MacBook 2017 12 inch, as you can see, we can only get up to 400 MB for read and write, uh, both of them. So only 400 MB per, per second transfer speed. So uh, it's okay, but I will show you that the speed changes when you use another MacBook or a powerful MacBook. So we're gonna do that now. Before I, I proceed to the next test, I will do a simple real life uh, file transfer. So I have this uh, uh, folder here. Let's uh, get the information first. Let's check the size first. So as you can see, it's about uh, uh, 30 GB. That's the size of the folder. I'll try to copy it to the desktop. Okay, so the file is from the uh, SSD to my desktop. As you can see the speed. Uh, if you take a look on the right corner, uh, you can uh, do the timing on your own. But for this experiment, it, it took almost a minute to transfer a 30 uh, GB file. So for my case, it's okay. Uh, but we'll see the next text when using another powerful MacBook, uh, the results are different. Uh, so let's proceed. I'll also show you a quick test of using a um, USB-A, uh, using the enclosure, the, the uh, Signature Pro. So I'll just uh, plug it in and you can see, pay attention on my desktop. Uh, you'll see it popping up. Yes, I can, as you can see my, um, Pen drive is actually uh, recognized. I can open it. Then you can see, uh, let's, uh, we can eject and then we can try it again. Also we try it with the USB-C adapter and see if it will also be able to pick it up. And then we find the port the other USB-C, I think this was the power delivery one. Okay, let's see if it also supports or it can read. Okay, pay attention on the desktop. Yeah, it can also read uh, when it's plugged on the power delivery. So that's good. So we'll eject. The next one, I'm going to use the SD card. So this is my uh, extra camera card so I'll just try and see if it also can read so I'll find the port I think it's on the left side uh, that's not the way you insert it you have to insert it upside down sorry guys uh, don't do that you have to do yeah upside down okay uh, pay attention to this yeah you can still read it as you can see so if I try to open it, yeah, as you can see, those are my files. So let's go to uh, images. I think where the image is. Yeah, as you can see, my file are all there. Yeah, so I've tested all the ports. All the ports are, are working fine, the USB-A, uh, the micro USD, the SD, the TF, all those are working fine. Um, I will show you also later the HDMI. Okay. So now um, I'm going to do a test with the, another MacBook. This is MacBook uh, Pro uh, 13 inch. This is 2019 model. It's uh, full spec, 16 GB, i7, very fast. As you can see as a plugin, it, it recognized my internal SSD that I installed on the enclosure, the Signature Pro. So I'm going to do this similar test as my MacBook 12 inch 2017 model. First, I'll open the Blackmagic speed test app, and then I'm gonna do uh, the same speed test, the internal speed test of this MacBook first, just so you can see the difference. So I'm gonna do that test now. As you can see with this MacBook is uh, for the right is about 1807 uh, megabyte per second and the read is about uh, 2536 uh, megabyte per second. So it's uh, much more faster compared to my previous MacBook. This is the internal speed. So now we're going to try and see the speed of the uh, enclosure 
the one with an SSD installed the same one so I'll just open it again and then do this you'll notice a difference as you can see now this uh, write speed is about 929 compared to the previous which was 400 and the read speed is also 924 compared to the previous one was also 400 so your transfer speed will always depend on your macbook or pc uh internal storage speed also the other important uh, thing to mention is also the port this macbook is using a thunderbolt 3 i think usb c port but the macbook i used before i think it was not thunderbolt 3 so i think that one might be one of the issue affecting the transfer speed so it's very important to know that so if you find yourself buying this and getting low speed it might be your uh macbook or pc external st in internal storage transfer speed or the port you are using if it's not thunderbolt 3 or does not support fast transfer also the cable you are using and the uh, final one is the uh, the ssd you installed in your enclosure does it have high transfer read and write speed or not i'm going to show you another um, experiment i did by changing the cable the cable also affects the, the speed i'll show you now now i'm going to show you uh, the transfer speed by changing the cable uh, see how the cable affects the transfer speed. so i changed the cable as you can see only 33.9 this is the write speed megabyte per second and then we have the read only 35.6 this is the read speed i just changed the cable so be careful when you are using uh this product make sure you are using a good cable because if you're using a chip or a cable does, that does not support high data transfer speed this is what you'll experience and you may think maybe there's something wrong with the external uh enclosure you bought but the issue is with with the cable as you can see now this is really bad so be careful on the cable you use and test them before uh you take them to a trip or you go in a long journey try to see if they are they support uh, fast transfer so that's the last test of the transfer speed uh we're gonna do a, another test with the hdmi now i'll i'll take the hdmi cable and then plug it on the um enclosure the signature pro enclosure okay okay so let's look at uh, the monitor it seems it's working oh let's go so i'm um act i actually have a 4k monitor 32 inch this is a dell um 32 inch um it's connected as you can see my macbook is now connected to the monitor but i'll have to check the refresh rate the framework if it's 60 frames per second if it uh, supports that so i'll go to the apple logo on the left corner and then about mac and then we have to go to the display and then we, that's my monitor's model the dell you can see the name there okay so let's go to the scaled um, then you, you have to hold i think uh, is it control or option and then you have to click the scaled in order to see the uh, refresh rate i think you hold the option or control button then click on the scaled uh, uh, radio button then you'll be able to see the refresh framework uh, go down and then we have to select uh show the resolution modes okay you tap on that then you can see the refresh rate is only 30 uh hertz and you can see the other uh choices we have i think 24 25. uh the issue i think is with my cable because whenever i use this cable also with my uh windows laptop it also gives me 30 frames per second but if i use the usb c to usb c uh, i get uh 60 frames per second for so for this test i think uh, i i don't have a cable that supports 4k 60 frame rate so maybe i have to get a new cable so that's all for the test uh it's working perfect as you can see you can still plug it on but 
if you're not using the right HDMI cable, you might not get the 60 frame per second. So it's important to know that. So yeah, that's it for the HDMI test. Just to show you when I plug my USB-C directly from my monitor to my MacBook, I just want to show you the 60 uh, uh, framework per second that is supported with this monitor. As you can see, if I plug it directly and then I go also to the about again, uh, sorry for the shaking. Okay. If I go to the about, uh, the right corner about, and then we have to go to the display. If I check again the display, and then I go to the scale, I think I hold option or some or option, and then uh, click on the scaled radio button. You'll see the choices show resolution. Now you can see uh, refresh rate is 60 hertz. This is connecting the USB C directly from the monitor to my uh, MacBook without including the enclosure ports and stuff like that. As you can see, the monitor supports 60 frame per second but using the HDMI I, I wasn't able to achieve that I think maybe it's my cable issue so maybe I'll try uh, to buy a new cable and see how, what has happened so far so good no problem now I'm gonna do a test transfer speed for Windows so I have two cables the one Fujio gave me the one USB A to USB C then I bought another one from uh, U Green USB A to U USB C and I'll try to test uh, the transfer speed if we change the cables does it affect the transfer speed we're using a window uh, laptop so that's what i'll be doing on this section so let's get to it. now i'm on my windows laptop you can see the drive connected so when i connected the signature pro you can see three more drive added and you can see the pop-up on the bottom uh, right uh, display connection might be limited don't worry about that it's not an issue Sometimes you won't be able to see uh, you, your installed SSD uh, displayed on these drives here in Windows. So the issue is um, the drive might not be um, initiated, formatted, or assigned a number. So you won't be able to see it. The first thing you have to do is go to the search uh, menu within Windows, then type uh, computer management computer management and when it, it opens the Dell box select it then select uh, disk management so it will take some time uh, to load the uh, drives because I have a lot once they are all displayed uh, scroll down and try to find your installed SSD. Sometimes you, it may have the Samsung name or any brand you have. It might be offline or uh, it's not initialized, not formatted or not assigned a, 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 a later. So you have to fix it here, format it, initialize it, solve it here, then come back here, you'll see it dis displayed. If it's displayed, then everything is, uh, is, is okay. So you can continue with the copying files and transferring files to it. Now I'm gonna transfer some files within the SSD within the enclosure. Just I'll open the SSD and then I'll uh, paste the folder that I copied before. And then we can we are going to check the speed, uh, the transfer speed. As you can see, the transfer speed is not that high. It's almost uh, 38, uh, almost 40 megabytes per second which is not good at all this is connected to the uh, Fujio USB A to USB C the one they provided uh, they gave me for free um, this transfer speed are not that great so I'm gonna try and pause this uh, uh, transfer because in window you can do that uh, when you're transfer you can pause then you can disconnect the drive and then plug it again and continue the transfer uh, so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to change the cable and plug the uh, Ugreen USB-A to USB-C and you'll see the difference in speed, the change in, in, in the transfer speed just by changing the cable. So I'm going to do that. Now we're going to change the cable. So I'm going to disconnect the full jaw USB-A to USB-C cable and then I'll use the uh, U green USB -A to USB C and plug it to my uh, Dell laptop. 
after it's connected then i'll resume the operation as you can notice the transfer speed changed from 40 megabytes per second to almost 225 megabytes per second which is really nice just by changing the cable you use you can actually change this transfer speed so as you can see it's pretty okay uh, for most people this one will be just fine and then i have to show you my internal ssd installed on my dell laptop i think i installed it previous before if you want that video i'll post it on the right corner so as you can see this is my ssd um 860 evo uh, the read speed is about 545 megabyte per second and 470 uh, megabytes per second that's the right as you can see the speed is okay so it it may uh start from 100 mb to 200 so it's pretty okay for me so only by changing the cable you can affect the transfer speed so that's all guys if you have any question about this uh, uh signature pro enclosure and adapter seven in one please uh, feel free to leave a comment below. I'll leave some link on where you can get this product. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask on the comment section. Please remember to subscribe, um, like, and share the video. And I hope I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for guys for watching the video. And I'll see you uh, next time. Goodbye.